works. This isn't the video that I wanted to make at all. Uh, but you know, in the land of creating content for you guys and coming up with interesting things to show you and also just documenting the debacle, which is my S600 at this point, I figured I would tell you this story. Because right now, I'm at AMG Ties. I came here to drive my S600 for the first time. But the thing is, folks, um, there is one car missing from this lot and um, it was the donor car. Like, you guys remember that video? If you haven't seen it, I'll quickly fill you in. About a month ago, I bought a donor S600 from my buddy Sam from Goichi Motors. He had this S600 he was planning on just taking the motor out and using for one of his projects, but didn't work out and he wanted to help me out because he knew that the motor I had bought for my S600, it had some issues and, well, it was locked up. Like, we weren't gonna be able to put it in the car. So he sold me that car, we brought the car up here. So anyway, that was like a month ago. So you're probably wondering like, it doesn't take that long to swap a motor, right? Like, wh what's been the holdup? Like, what's going on? Well, do you see the car here? I know it's not a clear view here, but before it was somewhere over there by that little red smart car. But the thing is, it's not here anymore. And uh, for a little while, neither was my S65, which Ty is working on, and neither were, I'd say about four or five other cars. They just vanished. Well, the cars got impounded. And um, you know, if I could have a billboard, like we just put a billboard here, and I could just name all of the just things that have caused delays to get this S600 running, it's really kind of unbelievable. Yeah, I'm ready to pull out what I have left of my hair because I know it's gonna be disappearing soon. So anyway, they all got impounded. Now, how did this happen? Well, Ty, the owner of AMG Ties, he had some outstanding ticket that he thought he had taken care of, didn't have taken care of. All of a sudden, the cop pulls him over for, you know, he was just test driving a car. Cop pulls him over because there was some issue with the tag or something. It turns out there's a warrant out for his arrest. It's like, what the fuck? Now, the thing is, Ty's ticket, it's taken care of. It was just a nonsensical thing that just didn't get paid and was outstanding. But because this is the United States and specifically Maryland, that is basically equivalent of committing tax fraud. Now, in the midst of dealing with all the nonsense and all the bullshit of getting this ticket squashed and taken care of, you know, he was out, he was away from the shop for a little over a week. Now, the problem with that, the tow companies decided, you know what, I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna get a payday. And they came here and they towed like seven of his cars. And they just picked and choose whatever ones were the most convenient for the record to take out. And guess whose car was one of those cars? It was S600 number one, it was S600 number two, and it was my S65. Now, the thing about that S600 though, the one with no motor in it, it doesn't have a motor in it, it doesn't run. So now we have to go to the impound yard to get this car out of Hawk, and that way we can get other parts that we need off of it to finish that S600. Here's another fun fact about that S600. Guess what it doesn't have? Registration, insurance. Like it doesn't have any of that yet because the car like is a donor car. Like all we're doing is pulling parts off of it. So there's no point in doing that. So now I have a feeling I'm probably gonna end up having to get this stupid car registered. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready to pull my hair out. But we're gonna go ahead and get this car. We're gonna rescue this damn thing from being towed and finally deliver it back to Ty so he can continue pulling parts off of it. Now folks, before we get to that, we gotta talk about something that most guys don't like talking about. And that's this. You see what I see? It's not a good thing. I'm only 24 and I know that's not necessarily a good thing, but thankfully there is someone there to help. And it's today's sponsor, which is Keeps. Folks, Keeps is an online subscription service that helps men keep their hair. Believe it or not, two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they're 35. And Keeps offers clinically proven and research-backed treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair growth. The amazing thing about Keeps is the fact that you don't need to leave your house. With Keeps, you can get quality expert care without ever going to a doctor's office or a pharmacy. All their treatments are doctor recommended and they're delivered straight to your door. And not to mention at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. And they custom tailor your treatment for you. So whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of your hair, Keeps has you covered. And on top of all that, they're available to talk 24-7. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash Jimbo or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Jimbo. So folks, with all that being said, check the link in the description down below and take a look at Keeps. And now, to the rest of the video. Uh, when I was driving this car, I was very worried that I'm gonna get rear-ended because of that. Oh yeah? <laughs> There's nothing there. If that's the only thing you were worried about, Saeed, then God bless you. <laughs> There's a lot of other things to worry about driving this thing. No dice. I gotta have the car registered in order to get it out of impound. So now I'm calling a lifeline. I'm on hold right now. Calling my tag and title lifeline that just happens to be five minutes from here. So 
We're gonna see if we can get like a 30 day, like a, like a temporary registration or some shit. I mean, this isn't a problem for them to get registered. The problem is my stupid ass left the paperwork at home. We're at Acceleration Automotive and they're a full service shop, but the thing that they do that's a huge help here because we need to get this stupid S600 out of the impound yard, they're also a tag and title place that also has a dealer's license. They also got this S600 registered and they did it in a total of 20 minutes, which is a really good thing because right now it's 441 and in about 20 minutes that impound yard, like the office for it, the person I need to talk to is going to close. So now we can go get it because we have, we got tags now. And you know what the most the part about all that is, is that those tags are never gonna go on that car, that registration's never gonna go on the car, none of that's ever gonna go on the car. Now I get the pleasure of paying the impound fee and then going to the tow yard, literally right next door, and paying them another $150 to move my piece of shit back to Ty's place. I gotta get Lenny's to line up a truck. They're gonna back it up right there. So my car's in there. You wanna take a random guess where it is? It's, there's only one place it could be, so you know where it is? You can guess all the way in the back. In the very back, fucking, like you can't even see it. Like there's, there's no amount you're gonna zoom inside where you're gonna see it. And every time I film, look at it. Southwest. So the impound yard, because of course, you know, like none of these cars run, none of them are going to start. In order for them to get my car out of there, they got to get a tow truck out here to move all these cars, which there's at least one, two, three, four. Yeah, there, there's four cars at a minimum that need to be moved. That's going to take probably an hour. And then they're going to get the car out, tow it six minutes down the road, and then Ty will have the car just in time for the end of business day. <laughs> Are the valves closed or open? Uh, the valves... Sounds like it's open. Yeah, they sound like they're open. So let's give her a spin. So this will be the first time... This will be the first time that I ever drive this car making as much power as it's supposed to be. Because prior to this, I've only driven the car with, um, with basically half the power. Ooh, it's got heated seats. I forgot about that. Oh, this is gonna be fun! I drive it back before I blow it up. Thanks. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this. Thank you so much for doing this, <laughs> no, bro. I told Thank you, bro. Now about your soul. Remember that? Oh yeah. yeah so we ask. need to go take care. Yeah. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> first time I drove the S600 under its own power. And this isn't the S600, and I'm gonna explain why now. This right here is the beater. This is my daily. It's a 99 S320, and we affectionately call this bodega number two. Bodega number one was my silver S320, which sadly I, uh, I totaled not long ago. Uh, but you know, that was, it got the nickname from Blake actually, bodega. And that just carried on. We kept saying that over and over. And eventually I was scrolling on Craigslist in Florida about, I'd say two years ago now. And I found this thing, it had like 95,000 miles. It already had a light tint on it. And I was just looking for an extra daily down in Florida when we were living there. And I saw this and I went, that's a good deal. And I talked to the guy and well, I drove home with it for three grand.
The reason we're even talking about this, because you probably are wondering why the S600 isn't here and this is in place. Well, the S600 is currently just a whole bunch of pieces are apart on it. We're working on it right now and to get it ready for you. But I figured what we do, because this is a nice open area, we can walk around the car freely. We're gonna show you what we be doing to the S600. Because I talked about, you know, changing the motor, I talked about changing the headers, getting it running correctly, all that, and we did that. The car's running right, doesn't sound the way we want yet, and we're gonna get to why in a little bit, but um, you know, we still have a lot of work to do in the exhaust department, but I haven't discussed the entire plan for the car, because it's not just gonna get the motor fixed and the headers sounding the way we want and all of that. It's like gonna be a lot more. By the way, I'm sure some of you noticed this, this is a work in progress. It's coming soon, don't worry. I've got an entire line of stuff that's coming out. So stay tuned, I'll be announcing it shortly, but um, we got some cool plans with this. So without any further ado, it's time for me to finally reveal, I guess, the master plan for the S600. I got a need for speed. So yeah, we're gonna be wrapping this thing as Eddie's Skyline from Need for Speed Underground. The thing is with Need for Speed, like that was that was my genesis. That was the very beginning of all stuff cars with me, other than just little Hot Wheels cars. And I played Need for Speed Underground for the first time, and you know all the cars in there were just well Need for Speed Underground cars. They were all cool, but the one that stuck out, the one that was the like like the coveted one, was the Skyline. I remember sitting with my dad, we'd go online and type in Need for Speed Underground cheat codes. We had to type in, I think it was like Skyline 123 or something like that, and we'd type it in on the menu screen, and you had to type it in fast enough before the game went back to the intro. And if you did that, you got the Skyline earlier in the game. But either way, that was just to get the car. The actual car I wanted was Eddie's car. It was the final boss's car. And this car, as absurd as it sounds, it's got similar proportions to a Skyline. Like I know that's like, what the fuck are you talking about? But just think about it for a second. The Skyline has a stumpy rear end. Normally would have a spoiler, but that's not here obviously. But stumpy rear end, long body, and then a very large hood, right? So this, I mean, <laughs> in many ways, it's like you've scaled up a four door Skyline. But with, with this car, I feel like with the 18 inch monoblocks, the front bumper, it's a Lorenzer front bumper that we're gonna be putting on the car with the fog lamps and everything. You combine that with a teeny little wing in the back and <laughs> I gotta tell you, one of the hardest things to find was the right wing for this car. I found a legit, like an actual Lorenzer spoiler um, from like, it must have been whatever, the late 90s, whatever it was. I found a real one. You know, it's got the Lorenzer part number on it, it's got the engraving, and it even has the brake light. Every other spoiler I've seen for sale for a W140, they're all just like knockoff spoilers that are the same design, but doesn't have the brake light. So we're gonna be putting that on the car, and I think it's gonna look really cool. So other than showing you guys the livery for the car, I wanted to go over all the other things we're gonna be doing to it. So the most notable thing we're gonna be doing here is the exhaust. Putting a Wyra styled exhaust right here. You know, just four quad tips right there. And um, I think that with the spoiler, like it won't look super ridiculous. It'll look cool. Um, and the logic behind it is the S600, you know, obviously it uses the M120, the V12 that was in the original Zondas. Now I know the Zonda that most of us think about, that had a modified version of the M120 V12. It was bored a little bit differently. You know, there was some internal things that were very different. But the original Zondas, the C12 Zondas, those used an M120 six liter straight from AMG. Not a fast car, but it did sound good. So what we're gonna be doing with the S600 is obviously we're turning into a tribute car to Need for Speed Underground, the beginning of my love for racing games and Need for Speed. But the other thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be branding it essentially as the four door Zonda, because it kinda is. Um, so I wanna have a like Zonda Wyra styled exhaust that comes out of here. I'm gonna have it 3D printed, the actual tips. And just like Zondas, Zondas have that circle that goes around in metal. We're gonna have that done too. And instead of the S600 badge, it'll be, I'm gonna have a custom badge made that says Zonda J, like this J logo. Wait, we open this and we pull this up. What you see right here is what 
used to, like the spare tire used to be here. Mm -hmm. um, now, the thing is, this right here, this whole entire section, um, this is what basically is blocking the ability to put pipes um, from, the, uh, from the exhaust of the car to run them right here. So we're going to essentially on the S600, I know some people are gonna be like, it was such a clean S600, why are you gonna cut it up? We're not gonna do anything that we can't reverse. And frankly, between you and me, uh, <laughs> I have more money in that car than I care to admit. And it already has a different motor in it. So all caring has gone out the window. Like that doesn't mean I'm just gonna bastardize the car, but caring in terms of cutting it up anyway, that's, that, that's gone, it's all gone. <laughs> so. I just want to do something really cool with it because I think the car deserves that. But basically, we're going to have to cut all of this out. Um, I have no idea how that's going to get done, but that's Ty's problem, not mine. Uh, but this is going to get cut out, and then we're, I assume, going to put some giant piece of sheet metal here and you know some um, you know heat shielding so it doesn't uh, roast anything that we might put in the trunk. Because I still want the trunk to be functional. So on the front of the car, we're going to be putting on the S600 a Lorenzer front bumper, which is basically this bumper, uh, but it's got uh, the fog lamps and it sits a little bit lower. It just makes it look a little bit more aggressive. You know, my first choice, what I really want, is like a Brabus W140 front bumper. And if there's anybody that just happens to have one, because well, nobody does. DM me, I'll happily buy it from you. <laughs> but we're gonna put a couple lights in, you know, because, well, that's just what I do. I like putting lights on cars, whether it's amber or police lights. I just love doing that. But the last thing I can think of off the top of my head is actually on the interior. So if you come around here, Blake, you will be able to see what I wanna show you. So back in the day, something I saw done on the Lorenzer cars was they would have white gauge faces. And you know, by today's standards, you look at that and it's a little kind of like, just feels a little ricey or boy, boy racer. But to me, it's like period correct. But I wanted to take it a step further than that. There is one car I've seen that I saw online and I went, we need to do that. And uh, it's a Koenig Specials car. It was an SL500. And it was a red car with a red interior and they had the gauge faces were red, they match the car. So what I wanna do, because this car is gonna be like that bronze color, uh, bronze orange, I'm gonna get orange gauge faces made for this and put in. So that's the last thing I could think of that we're gonna be doing on the S600. The idea, as I mentioned, is to have the four-door Zonda. Uh, the S600 will be the four-door Zonda and we're gonna take it on plenty of adventures. And uh, the last thing I'll give you kind of a sneak peek of is, uh, you know, I mentioned I had a Wyra J, like that logo made. Well, that's because we're not just gonna have a four-door Zonda. We're gonna have a four-door Wyra. So um, you can put two and two together there and kind of figure out where we're going with the S65 in terms of whether I sell it or not. But with all that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see us do. But um, I'm very, very excited for the future. I'm very excited to keep bringing you guys content and, well, make some cool fucking videos for YouTube. So with all of that, as I said, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Comment what you think. And I'll see you next time. Pressing the gas, got a switch in the middle, this close in my hand. Grab a skull, hey, come time, me shift gear. When I hear chirp, I know.